Very few Australian Open epics are as memorable as the history-breaking 2003 quarterfinal between Eunice Elanaui and Andy Roddick. It would become, at the time, the tournament's longest match in games played since the 1971 introduction of tiebreaks. The almost five-hour match would also break the record for the longest fifth set played in Melbourne in the Open era. It was Roddick's first quarter-final appearance in Melbourne, while the Moroccan had matched his best previous result from 2000. And he made a flying start, breaking Roddick in the opening game on the way to a one-set lead before the young American hit back in a second-set tiebreak. We join the action late in the third set with games on serve at 5-4. Quite pleased. Thank you. Love 15. He's got a little annoyed with himself a couple of times, Roddick, but that was a time where he really could have ranted and raved, but he's just walked back, got on with it. Good stuff. Fifteen. When he's come to the net tonight, Roddick, he's come in very quickly. He's positioned himself well, given his volleys every opportunity. Oh. Oh. General, though, I think over the course of the two and a half sets, oh, now he's probably had the better of the net cords. This one here was going to be covered, obviously, by Roddick. All he can do, though, is walk away, move on. That's your like that. Thirteen aces apiece, one double fault apiece. Extraordinary. Fantastic. He's using the little slice backhand down the line yes. to good effect as well. So he's preventing Roddick from hanging in the backhand corner and using the big off forehand. Oh. Now a look at a second serve. Oh. Wow. All of a sudden. Roddick has looked the boy most likely in this season. Now the veteran, all of a sudden in the twinkling of an eye, practically from nowhere, has set point to take a two sets to one lead. Game He's missed it. Set. Six games to four. Now, this will be a test of the Roddick temperament. And I know he leads two set to one. You know that thing that holds your back in place? You know that thing that supports your back? It's called a spine. Get one. Three double faults from Eli Nowy in the opening game of the fourth set allowed Roddick to seize an early break. We rejoin the action in the ninth game with the American in control.
15 love. There is the trainer on left, Bill Norris, and with former world number one, Jim Courier. Courier here as a commentator for American television. Oh. <laughs> he watched Alan Alley unable to return the ball while he was laying flat on the rebound eye surface. Well, now I think in the end he was distracted as well because he thought he hit a winner. Sure. Couldn't believe, I think, that Roddick had made the shot. Tremendous effort, Roddick, and indicative of how importantly he sees this game. Again, he put the pressure on. Thirty forty. Certainly there, Roddick. Ball right in the hitting zone. Another two centimetres, three centimetres higher was a winner. Yeah, I like that win. Certainly not good enough, clearly. 15 love. That's it off. Let for service. Another chance to end up with an ice. Game of all set. Roddick. Not surprising. On a crunch point, Andy Roddick comes up with his please. biggest serve of the match at 220. Two set on. And we are off to a decider. Nine games into the deciding set, little did the Rod Laver Arena crowd know what was about to unfold. We rejoin the action with games on serve at 5-4. Tremendous point again. First serve, deep Pitching in the corner. Off. Ella now he jags it back. First volley on the line. Still had to hit another shot. Wonderful point. Broken a string and didn't get back Pitching into play. Off. Wow, that's a let off for Roddick. Yeah, certainly, because there's not much you can do about it from the back of the court.
Oh, it's in. Almost seemed to be sailing out, and somehow it just fell inside the line. 15. Tremendous point again. 15. This is wonderful volley under most pressurised situation. <laughs> How much better can it get? Thank you. Why please? Yes. Well, and now he's doing a super job getting all of these first serves back into play at the moment. It has been a it. remarkable and match. Morocco well, thank you. Be on the verge of its biggest tennis moment. his fist yes. and everyone draws a collective sigh <laughs> that standing forehand was played as if it was one all in the first set Advantage, Rodic. Withstands a match point and keeps this epic quarterfinal alive. There's actually a, uh, a doubles match waiting to come on after this match, so I hope uh, they didn't eat at the prescribed time that they would have expected this match to finish, <laughs> otherwise, uh, they might be a little hungry. I get the feeling they could be playing in front of an empty arena. at the end, let alone the players. Imagine how they must be feeling. More than four hours of solid concentration. You've just got to applaud. Twenty-three aces apiece. Game, and I know it. Eunice 
wants to take the lead in that department as well as on the scoreboard. New balls, please. Well, I think it's going to take something bold, and I think Roddick here, if he gets a look at a second serve, he may need to start considering something a little different, maybe stepping in, just chipping and coming to the net, just a surprise tactic, because Ellen now is certainly looking a little fatigued, and it becomes more difficult to make passes when you're a little fatigued. First point is always so important. It just gives you a little not. boost. Conversely, if you don't get it, oh, so much more work to do. Needs here, perhaps Roddick, to take the second serve. Chip, come in, put as much pressure on as possible. That's enough. Roddick doesn't like this call. Can't possibly expect the umpire to overrule on that, though. It's the farthest line. Very close. May have touched it. May have been unlucky. match ticked towards five hours the players were reaching their limits we rejoined the action with the fifth set locked at 19 all Roddick's well, just handed his racket to one of the ball kids he said I can't go on and Eunice says you come out come on we've had enough Roddick is sitting down near the speed gun that he's nearly broken so many times <laughs> and one point will be enough. The crowd on their feet. <laughs> Andy Roddick, not much older than the ball kid, says, Naughty boy. They nod at each other in Thank acknowledgement. You Stumble there. Mm -hmm. so I'm going to say that this match probably couldn't have taken place in the day with the heat, etc. Someone would have yep. wilted by now. Own side that time. On. It's fallen on Roddick's side a few times in this epic encounter.
still finding time to acknowledge each other's good shots. That's you. A break point was in the 25th game of this set. It was on Illinois. In fact, there were two of them. And he shook off both of them. Before time was called, Roddick serving again for the match. There's only one bad thing you could say about this match, and that is that there has to be a loser. Two minutes shy of five hours. Quiet, well, please. Thank you. shake hands Fox because 15. of the noise. He'd heard no call. Had to ask the umpire, well, how was it? Still two well, match please, points thank you. to Andy Roddick. Thank you. 